welcome to episode 26, part 6 of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2. In the previous episode, we extended the railway in the Middle East to connect to the town of Alexandra, as well as a freight station here in Damascus, and also building a small line to this new town of Aden, where, at the same time, we're also operating our first express passenger train, as well as our first Middle Eastern freight train. And, in this episode, we're going to basically continue on and expanding the Middle Eastern main line, as well as providing some more services to make sure that our railroad will basically be very, very profitable. Now then, since oil is being processed here, we can at least take it over to Tehran to be processed into fuel. Since Baghdad will be an airport that our plane will fly to, we need to at least be sure to get this airport supply full. We'll also need to deliver some food, and also bring in some tools. Considering that tools are made from either lumber or steel, we'll need to deliver some steel here. But the only steel mill closest by is here in Delhi. So, we'll have to basically operate a new section of track here in the... In in the far eastern region in just a matter of moments or so but in the meantime we'll just focus on expanding and making this version of the rail well <laughs> geez sometimes i can't speak we'll just basically focus on building the stations here around the middle east for now and then we'll start expanding our operations Why did I put catenary up? I don't want catenary. We're not operating electric traction. Though, I have been thinking about what I would do about the, the lagging situation. So, turns out my computer will lag entirely if I have more than 100 vehicles on the map. So, basically, I can either basically operate the game in times for speed for the rest of the episode, for the rest of the series, or basically primarily just get rid of the European vehicles and focus on the Middle Eastern ones. While that will bring me back some much needed cash, that means I'll be taking out some important operations. But, considering I actually did this in the French map before to cut down on lag to finish up the mission, I can basically see why that might have to be the choice. We'll place the bus stop here and connect this one here. Now, with a new bus stop, we can now connect the rest of this track to the mainline network. No catenary, of course. We're gonna get this track flattened a bit. Right, right there, and right here. We'll add the switches here. Curve to the right. Go straight. And then basically curve it here. I gotta admit, that actually is a really queen a really clean sweep. We'll actually change it up a bit and make that a, a regular switch instead of a double crossover. Double slip switch. Change the... well, make the land a little more smoother. And basically, we'll build over the main line here. So we'll have to basically edge it alongside each other in order for the tracks to work. Because again, sometimes the track splines here won't work very well. And I'm running low on cash again. Now I'm in the red. How could I be in the red so easily? 
Well, thankfully, though, most of my loan has been repaid already, so it shouldn't be too long until my entire loan has been paid off. I'm changing to the double slip track. Let's see. I actually forgot there's actually a grain farm here in Damascus. So we could at least deliver some grain down to this food processing plant here in Baghdad. As well as deliver loads of fish. And as for fish, I think it's best if we get a new fishing operation started. If I could just get a nice angle here in Athens. We'll build this road and hopefully we can get this connected and... There we go. Ooh, I think it has to be connected to a main road. Let me see. There we go. Now this port will allow fish to be brought in. We'll then place the port for the ship. We'll place the port here. Connect. Alright, Tanu's port is connected, but since this, this is in the way, I'll have to think of a place where this... I'll have to place down a cargo station somewhere close by. Let's see. There we go. So once that is done... Oh my gosh, why am I getting electrified track behind this one regular track? Well, anyways new port track down, I can easily swing this new track that I built, well, this new station, and connect it to the mainline network here. Connect both, double slip switch it, and now we can basically pick up food and bring it down to, well, the Baghdad airport. I think I'll probably might want to also build another station here somewhere. Well, anyway, we're going to basically curve the tracks to the right as well to reach Baghdad in Tehran, but also curve it to the left to reach Constantinople. Since Constantinople will be home to two, tr to both a local train and an express passenger train, we'll basically make it a two-track station. Ugh. <sighs> I've forgotten to get rid of the catenary on this. Well, I can easily remove this here. Alright. We're gonna change this to Constantinople ME for Middle East. As Constantinople Europe is located at the same station. Ugh, construction not possible. Why do you sometimes do this in the game? Why? Ugh. Construction not possible. What? Are you serious? Oh. Thank you. Alright. There's gonna be a bit of a grade coming out. Yep, a bit of a grade coming out of uh, Constantinople's Middle Eastern Station. We'll flatten the tracks and then expand the line going forward. I could also still at least provide some supplies here to this food processing plant here in Damascus. No catenary, thank you. We'll connect the station there so grain could be brought in and baked goods can be brought out.
There we go. Since Iron Ore is also located here, we'll just have to find another region with coal available. We're also converting this into uh, an embankment because the distance and height is not that big for it's not that really neat for a bridge. I'm gonna convert this into an embankment as well. Flatten the track. Flatten the track. Go forward. Then we'll basically curve it off to the right outside of the station. And I'll need to take on another loan, which is going to basically be more expensive. Plus, with this grain being processed here, we can also deliver food to the airport here in Constantinople. As well as fuel from Tehran and tools from Tehran. We'll just also have to be sure to deliver supplies of food, tools, and fuel to Baghdad. But, I think, to basically make sure that our services are still kept in good working order, I think I'll have to get rid of my services in Europe. It's not what I want to do, but it's supposed to keep... I need to make sure my game runs quite smoothly. So... Once all these vehicles are selected, I'll sell them off. Alright, that should get me a total of 285 million credits from that, which will pay off most of my debt. But, the game will now run a lot more smoother at times 4 at times 8 speed. We'll curb it to the right, go straight. But we'll actually duck under this mountain, this hilly terrain now. And then connect both ends of the tr track with this tunnel. Let's basically try to take out as much of our load as possible. Because if you see, as we put it at times 8 speed, my vehicles are actually going a lot more faster with less stutter. All the while, we can now also connect this to the mainline network. A 240 meter cargo station right next to this grain farm. Still a little laggy, but not to the point where it gets really uncomfortable with the game. much slope. We'll just convert this into an embankment. And then just connect this uh, slip switch to the main line here. We'll have to basically also make the ground a little more, well, better. But then we'll also have to worry about building a, a Y switch. Let's see. Is this the correct height for a, a switch? I'm hoping so. Eh, it, will, it looks fine. We'll make the track flat here. Connect this here. Connect this, and that should be our new Y track.
then we'll also have to connect to this iron ore mine as well as connecting to this. Curve it to the right, and then basically connect it to the left here. We'll place a double crossover switch here. Flatten the terrain, well, smooth it out basically. And we'll add some signals. Considering that the signal is located right here, I think I'll just place the signals for the junction here. Alright, pointed inside arrow, inside arrow flat. We'll also place the signal here on these switches. This as well. There's a dwarf signal here, and one here. Place a dwarf here as well for the new extension. Hmm, seems like some of the track work is starting to basically dip down into the ballast. We'll add the sig distance signals here. Pointed signal and home signal. Plus, with the long tunnel, I think it's best we also apply some dwarf signals on the inside so at least trains won't have to just wait for a long period of time between two ends of a tunnel. Alright. That done, we can now operate a new services. We're gonna actually copy this and put it here, but rename this to MEB and replace this place the title with Grain. Then we'll also have to get it up a new ship route. According to the ones I've made, it's dark purple. So, the new ship route, once I find line 1, it'll be basically shipping route. M-E. This is going to be the only shipping route we're working with, and it will be carrying fish. And it's going to be a much more darker purple this time around. It's going to have a full load, 10 minutes, and I'll need to place down a new harbor. Now, since I already sold off my trains, it's going to go back to ship 1, ship 2, train 1, train 2. And let's see, the only ship that's capable of carrying fish is basically the Duharalan Castle, which is fine because that ship has 200 units of cargo. Then I'll also have to set up a new route as well as to pick up the food. 
but also set up a new route as well to pick up passengers as well. We'll connect Alexandra to Damascus. We'll copy this and text here. Control V, replace this with D, change it to this, change it to dark gray. And with the sale of those vehicles, we made back down to nearly 500 million credits. A great reduction. And we'll probably get another reduction of credits once we expand it into, well, basically into Asia. All the while, we'll need to also clone one of my local passenger trains, now known as Train 1, and put it to work on Local Train MED. Speaking of which, MEC is basically operating on the same platform as Alexandria. It needs to be on platform 4. Then we'll copy the same one again and bring it into Constantinople. This will be known as MEE. Dark gray again. And then, let's see. How much will this cost me? About 19.3 million credits. We'll clone and put Train 2 in charge of that service. Though, I do want to provide the express passenger service here. So, I think I'll actually restart the bus service here in Constantinople. So... We'll restart the bus service in Constantinople, as well as the one here in Vienna. I just have to take out another loan. We'll take it out to about 545 million. Get the bus service started here in Vienna. And then, basically, since the station is close to many of the residential areas, I could easily get a new express train started. We'll use the 46010 wheeler. And for our passenger cars on this train, well, actually, I want to actually change the color of this passenger train, of these passenger locomotives first. I'll get it a dark blue color. Well, actually, I'll get this color, and then just basically get these coaches repainted dark blue. I'll need a brake van, a brake coach, some first class coaches, and some third class coaches. That'll cost me about 22.2 .2 million credits. Put it on the new express serve restart the express passenger service in Europe. And also finally let's get up a new train to pick up grain and take it to the food processing plant. We'll actually use the Baldwin 280 again. And I just realized that I actually got the didn't get one of those mods that I normally use. But considering that's quite a hot climate compared in that in the Middle East will basically only carry about uh, the grain will be fine aboard these box cars well inside those gondolas give it a red tint 22.4 million credits and basically once we get that in service I think we have reached a good ending point for today's episode as we'll put this on MEB Green. Alright, with that all is being said and done, I think we have reached a good ending point for today's episode. So, if you enjoyed this episode of my Let's Play at Transport Fever 2, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to Texas Gaming Industries for new video uploads every Friday or Saturday, depending on my on-site schedule. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!